How did you find yourself at TV? Um, I just finished year seven and my mum told me that I wasn't allowed to stay at home for the summer. So she showed me this newspaper that had um, free youth activities to do over the summer. So I chose two, both from TV, the Next Top Role Model and the Junior Apprentice. My mum said that I have to do the Junior Apprentice. So I came back and yeah, I competed in the Junior Apprentice and I've been here for the next four years. And what scared you throughout the whole process? What scared me the most was that it would be like The Apprentice with Alan Sugar and there'd be a boardroom with Alan Sugar stood there, sat there and just shouting at people. And in a way it was like that. Um, and it's nerve-wracking, but it's a good feeling the more that you do it. And so on the flip side, what excited you? That I'd win. Even in the first year, I think every contestant in the back of their mind imagine, imagines like, themselves winning The Apprentice. And I think that's what excited me the most. And the, um, making new friends, because I didn't really talk to anyone. Um. What was that moment when everything just came together and it all just clicked within you that made you think you could win? I know you said that everyone has a feeling in the, in, in the back of their mind, but can you define when you thought, yes, this is it? Um, it was about a week into the competition and it was a firing day. So we'd all come out of the boardroom and the judges were making their decisions. And all my friends, they were telling me, don't worry, Ray, you don't need to be scared, you're not going to get fired anyway. And it was like, everyone believed in me enough that I believed in myself even more. And that's kind of when I realised that I had quite a good shot. And so how did it feel to win? Like, describe the moment from when you won in the area, the Clapham, and then going on to win London wise. It was a complete shock, but it still felt right almost because I'd spoken to everyone about it that I wanted to win, I prayed on it and like deep down it felt like it was right but it was still a massive shock. So how would you say Hebe has helped you? Um, Hebe has grown my confidence in myself to do things that I wouldn't have done before. Um, it's grown my self-knowledge of what I can do. Um, I wouldn't have thought that I could speak in front of a lot of people or approach a random person on the street and ask them to buy something from me. I would never have done that without Hebe. And um, it's just helped me as a person, I'd say. It's, as a person, I feel like in the future, the experiences I've learned here at Hebe will help me in not only the business world, but as a person and being empathetic and just helpful. Paint a picture. Who was Ray when she first started all those years ago? Who was she then? And who is she now? Um, in 2012, that Ray was quiet, shy, afraid, but practically just speaking in general. Um, I didn't want to socialise or anything, but now I'm still scared and I'm still shy, but I've learned to push through it and that you need in order to make good memories have good experiences and set yourself up in life you need to push through what you're scared and shy of or you won't get anywhere so i think now i'd say i'm more adventurous